So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can import only a few products from Vida Excel or Big Buy within WooCommerce. In one of our last videos, we have explained and showed you how you can use Vida Excel dropshipping and Big Buy dropshipping in combination with WooCommerce. However, in that video, we showed you how you can import entire categories or subcategories and all its product in it. And now a lot of you guys asked me how we can import only a few products from certain categories. And luckily that is possible with the same plugin. And in this video, I'm going to show you how that works. Now, first of all, before you can start, you need the plugin from Woosa. So when you go to woosa.com, go to plugins and click on Vida Excel or Big Buy, you can easily start your free trial period and also install that particular plugin in the backend of your WordPress. Now, if you don't know how that works, you can go to plugins in your WordPress dashboard, go to add new plugin and upload a zip file by uploading a plugin. And this will give you access to the entire functionality as shown in both this video as the last video I referred to just now. Now here you can see that the plugin is already installed and that will make a menu item appear over here, which is in this case called Big Buy, but it can also be Vida Excel or one of our other plugins. Now, first things first, what I showed you in the last video is that you can select a few categories. And based on the categories you have selected, we will import the products that are within that particular category. Now, a lot of you ask me how we can import only a few. Now there's two things you can do for this. So first of all, we can go to Big Buy and we can go to the Big Buy catalog and there we can search for the products we would like to import because there you will have all the product information you need. And in one of the last videos, I also showed you how to calculate your profit margin to see if you can earn enough profit on a particular product. And in that spreadsheet, I also advise you to add some product info, which will identify the specific product. So in this case, we're going to identify the product through the SKU because we need the SKU within the plugin to be able to know which products you would like to import. So if you go to the catalog and let's search for a shampoo, for example, and you click on this first shampoo, then you will see the ref code over here. And this is the code we need in the plugin to know which specific product you would like to import to your WooCommerce store. Now, when we go to Big Buy and we go to the products, we can see that we already have imported a lot of products and they soon also will get updated with an image and with a price. Now, there are two things we can do to make sure only a few products will be imported. Now, go to Big Buy. There, we of course have selected some categories and those categories have imported 716 products in total. Now, when we go to the filter products, we can select whether or not to import products. So we can either choose to not select, to not import selected products, or we can choose to only import selected products. And there are two ways to add SKUs to it. The first thing we can do is just copying the SKUs on Big Buy, adding it over here and save the changes. And we can edit separated by a comma. So in this way, we can edit multiple SKUs in once. Now, if you are using our spreadsheet, you will have a list of the SKUs you would like to um, sell because you can make a nice profit on, on them. So you can also just copy that list, paste it over here, make sure they are of course separated by a comma and import them in once. But luckily we have a way more easier way to do this from inside WordPress itself. So we have imported the 716 products, right? Now let's keep the synchronization running and let's go to that product list. And there we can see the, the image. It will be imported later on. We can see the price and we can see the stock. And now we can basically select which products we would like to only import or exclude from the import, choose the bulk actions and add them to the SKU filter list and then apply. And what will happen right now, if we go to Big Buy again and to the filter product section, is that you will see that those SKUs are added. And based on this filter type, we can choose what to do with them. Now there's one important thing to know. 
once the products have already been imported, like it is right now, you need to manually remove them from the WooCommerce product list because if they are already imported, the filter will not take those into account. So that's the only manual action you should do aside from adding them to the filter list. Now you can choose which way is better for you, which works better for you. I would advise you to use that spreadsheet. First calculate the profit margin you can make. Based on that, also add the SKU to the spreadsheet and then copy all the SKUs within that particular spreadsheet over here in the filter products list. Now, this was a short video, but hopefully you liked it because it will help you uh, selecting nice products, selecting a niche and also making a nice profit. If you like this video or have any additional questions, please do a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And then I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.